Hi everyone, I am Susan Jacob and I am going to show you this uh, interesting video which is uh, that of a young man who had undergone a posterior chamber phacic intraocular lens and unfortunately the peripheral iridectomy was made temporarily probably because the incision that was used for the phacic intraocular lens was also temporal and therefore this led to the problem of a relatively large PI uh, which led to glare and photophobia for the patient and also diplopia. The solution, of course, is to do an iridoplasty and decrease the size of the peripheral iridectomy. Extreme care needs to be taken in these cases that you do not go in and uh, touch the anterior capsule with a sharp needle that you're going to use. So if you notice what I've done is I've instilled viscoelastic under the uh, two leaflets of the iris on either side of the peripheral iridectomy and this is done in an attempt to lift the iris up and forwards away from the crystalline lens so that when you pass the needle in as you're doing now, you do not touch the crystalline lens and damage it. Now the needle passes in through the first leaflet and then further onwards through the second leaflet of the iris before it comes out through the cornea on the other side. The needle is pulled out and this carries the suture along with it and this suture has basically traversed through both the leaflets of the iris on either side of the peripheral iridectomy. Uh, since K-hook is now used to grasp that portion of the suture which passes beyond the second leaflet and this is hooked out through the first paracentesis so that there's a loop of suture lying out through the first paracentesis. The cut end of the suture is then looped further around this loop three or four times in order to create a knot. Once it's been looped around three or four times, the suture ends are pulled on either side and this makes the knot move inwards and this in effect sutures the two iris leaflets together. The knot can be secured more firmly by bringing out a loop once more and uh, throwing a knot once again. This is a sliding knot technique and uh, this was first described by Seepser and later on modified further by Bob Osher. Viscoelastic is finally removed. The patient had resolution of symptoms and was happy. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.